Hey everyone, I'm Brian. I'm Tyler. And we're Gardener in Love. Happy Pride Month! It is June, which means it is officially Pride Month here. We celebrate Pride Month in June in honor of the Stonewall Riots from 1969 that kicked off the modern LGBT rights movement. We are so honored to celebrate Pride Month every year because it's just testament to how far we've come in this country. Uh, we get to be together and we get to share our love for each other and with you guys because of Pride Month and because of the gay movement. And so we're just so happy and so proud of this movement and we're so excited to share with you guys today. In honor of Pride Month, today we're going to be planting up a container that includes a plant for each color of the Pride flag. And it's going to be a great reminder every time we see it on our deck that we're so lucky that we get to love each other and share our love with all of you. Let's get started. All right, so before we get started, just wanted to give a few tips on container planting. Everything we're planting today will be an annual, which means it will not come back next year in our area at least. Yep you will have to toss it out when you get to the first frost, but they'll give you a beautiful show all season long. You'll get beautiful flowers out of these plants um, and they will need to be fertilized as well. Annuals are usually heavy feeders, yep. so we will come along with water-soluble fertilizer once a week, but in the pot we'll also be putting some slow-release fertilizer. You can find this at most garden centers, um, you can find them at big box stores. Yep. There's all different kinds. You just want to make sure you get slow release so that over time it's feeding your plants good food and food equals flowers. Yep, that, and this is heat activated. So when we put it in the soil, it's already above 70 degrees in our area. And so when we put it in the soil, it's going to naturally release over time. Um, and then it won't give them too much or too little. Yep. So you can measure this or you can just sprinkle some in on the top layer. Yep. And then we'll mix it in just a little bit go and now we're ready to get started planting all right so we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what the colors in the pride flag mean and what they mean to us so the first color in the pride flag is red which stands for life and to us i think that means living your life to the fullest yeah. living your most authentic life yeah. um, and i think we're doing a pretty good job of that yeah and we know that not everybody has that privilege so we really want to honor the life that we live yeah. and be authentic to ourselves. Yeah, I think we've learned that life is super precious, especially lately with everything going on in the world. Um, we just want to make sure that we live our life as authentically as we can so that we can show others that love is life. Yeah. So for red, I have a red coleus here. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm going to pop this here in the back. Right. If I can get it out, it's really root bound. It's really root bound. Get a hole for you. And this is going to give us some nice height and pizzazz immediately. Yeah, and the contrast for the rest of this planting will be so beautiful with this in the back. I Perfect. love that. All right. All right. You want to do the next one? Yeah. So the next color is orange, and orange stands for healing. Um, and I think for us, uh, healing is a very important word because uh, just growing up, we went through a lot of things sort of coming to know who we are. Um, and healing has been a very important part of our process so that we can sort of put all of those things in, into perspective um, and then move forward with our life in the most authentic way we can, like we said. Um, and I think that our healing process sort of is part of why we found each other and how we found each other. Um, and we're just super lucky for that. So uh, healing is a very important word for us and I'm sure to many of you. So what we have for orange um, is a super bell. So this is a caliber koa um, and this is dream sickle um, and it has a beautiful little orange flower um, and we have two of those. So we're actually going to pop those right in the front. On either side. Yeah. That way this sort of serves as our spiller. Um, it'll spill right over the edge and look really beautiful for us. 
Um, Calibrocoa or Superbells, um, they don't love a ton of water. Um, and so we'll just really watch this in this uh, container and make sure that it's not overwatered because they will languish and sort of turn yellow and not put on a lot of blooms for us. And we don't want that. Yeah. All right, so the next color is yellow, which stands for sunlight. And we obviously love sunlight. We are outside all the time gardening, but it's really important. You know, if you're having a bad day or something just didn't go right, go outside and sit, get some vitamin D and it will just make you feel so much better. Yeah, I think uh, th for us throughout our lives, uh, the outdoors and nature has really been a healing <laughs> thing for us. And so the sun obviously has a lot to do with that. Um, so go soak up some, some, some sun today. So for yellow, we have two flambe yellow that have these kind of like whimsical little yellow blooms on top. Yes. It's gonna be a nice uh, little whimsical touch to this container. So we're gonna pop these right behind the super bells. Yep. And these will keep on going all season. We won't have to deadhead them and just like the pride flag color, these love sunlight. Yeah, uh, the flambe <laughs> is actually in the straw flower family. Um, and so they'll put on these little yellow blooms and just keep them there as long as they're happy and sort of healthy and watered. Um, they'll stay there for a long time. And so you've got this beautiful contrast of the silver um, with the yellow and then with everything else in the pot, especially the red coleus, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Really good show. All right, so the next color is green, which means nature. Um, and obviously we're sitting here with a pot of flowers. So uh, nature is very, very meaningful for us. It has been a really wonderful part of my life, my entire life and Tyler in different ways. Um, and so I think that nature is something that is healing and all the other things are obviously. all tied together. They're all here. tied together, <laughs> which is smart. Um, but nature is very important. And I think that uh, for us, it has been a part of our process and a part of bringing our love together. Our love for gardening has brought us together in ways that we never thought possible. And uh, we're so proud of, of the garden and we're so proud of this thing we've created together. Um, and so nature is very important to us. And so the thing we have for green is actually, um, this is a potato vine, but this is a new one that is called uh, Medusa. And I love the texture of these leaves. They are sort of like uh, chicken feet a little bit. They're sort of like split. They do look like chicken feet. Yeah, they're sort of like split. And I just think that's such a cool uh, thing. I haven't seen a, a sweet potato vine that looks like this. And so it's really interesting and very unique. Um, obviously that grassy texture is one that is really needed in most situations. It's all about color contrast. It's all about texture contrast. Um, and so this one will serve us really well in this container. And we're just gonna pop it right here in the front. This will serve as our main spiller actually. Um, and so it'll just spill right over the edge. They are heavy drinkers. And so the more water that that sweet potato vine gets, the more it will just come right over the edge of the container and be beautiful for us. Which is also why we only put one because yes. they just take up a lot of water and then get big. Exactly. All right, next up is blue, which stands for serenity. Um, and this is just the idea of being calm and peaceful, which I know can be hard for all of us in the LGBT community. I think a lot of us suffer from anxiety and uh, trauma that has happened to us, um, but it's really important to find some way to be peaceful, whether that is going out in nature, That's right. getting some sunlight, um, and just living your most authentic life I, for us, that has helped us be most at peace. Yeah. Um, so it's really important to keep in mind as you live your life. Yes, serenity is an important word for us, I think, in our relationship, in that we each have our different ways of keeping calm and finding our space. Um, Tyler likes to read. That is his thing that really makes him feel at peace. It really gives him his moment during the day to uh, pause and sort of reflect. Um, and I think that's super important for me. I think the garden has always been that serenity, planting flowers and just getting creative in nature. That's what I love to do. Um, and it always gives back. So uh, I think serenity is a very important thing for our community. Yeah. So for blue, we have another very tall plant. So this is Play in the Blues and it is a salvia. And this will get very big throughout the season. It will have really nice, tall, big blue blooms on it back here at the back. Mm -hmm. It'll be some more height for us. 
and it's really gonna play well with the flambe in front and the coleus over to the right. And we're actually gonna plant two of these so that it's nice and full right from the start. These plants, you won't struggle with them taking off and getting full, um, but we just thought for it to have that extra punch, especially because we're creating a back and a front to this plant. So you'll see the back is where the height is here. The front is obviously on this side because it's going against a wall and sort of in a corner. Um, it's easier just to pack it full right at the back because it can get bushy and really get tall if you want it to. Yep. All right, so the last color that we have is purple and purple stands for spirit. And so I think spirituality is something that is really important to us and it always has been. I think finding space for um, something that you celebrate, something that sort of centers you in your spirituality, whatever that is, whatever you celebrate, whether that is religion, whether that is something else, I think that spirituality is super important because it helps you find something that's bigger than yourself, whatever that thing may be. Um, and so spirituality is very important to us in different ways, but um, I think that if you can find that center and you can find that thing that you celebrate that is larger than yourself, it will help you to remain calm. It'll help you to be more authentic in who you are. Um, and it definitely has for us, it's brought us together in different ways and it's made our relationship stronger. Yeah, and I, I think spirit can also be about your own spirit and keeping that alive and celebrating your own spirit. So whatever whatever way that may be, whether it's yoga, meditation, yep. reading, yeah. um, just do what you can to keep your own spirit alive. Yeah. So the plant that we have for this is a purple. Uh, it's actually called Imperial Blue, but <laughs> in the gardening world, blue means purple. Usually. Yes, exactly. Um, but this is a superbina or verbena. You can see it has these really large sort of like mop head looking flowers um, and it's going to be really beautiful. I'm just going to pop it, I think, over on this side, right? Yes. Uh, let's you actually, could it, you could put it over here. Yeah, I'll put it right here behind this flambe so that it just sort of peeks through. Um, and it will kind of crawl. trail through and yeah. come out. I think it'll sort of in. crawl right over the edge. And look at that, it already looks beautiful. I love it. Wow. All right, so that's it for our pride container. We are so excited to see this one fill in and we're so excited for it to be a, just a daily reminder of pride and of this month and how important it is to us. Um, we hope that you guys are all celebrating pride this month too and sort of where we are in our journey with being in the LGBTQ plus community. Um, we celebrate you guys and we're just so lucky to have you and just to have this uh, community with you. Um, and we're just so excited to be here. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed this container planting. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting weekly updates of our garden and our life throughout the season. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Happy Bye. Pride.